going by Here I am Out of line Can we make it up again You know baby There's no baby I love only you You're the only one And no one else will do It makes me forget When you turn I know, dear, that you don't understand Don't you believe anything I say Yes, I know, dear, that you don't understand Open up your heart, let me in your heart I'm pleading Lesson of uh, you don't understand, and we're in standard tuning, and I have a capo on the second fret to facilitate uh, the fretting and also to facilitate my voice. And we regard the capo as a zero fret, so when I say first, second, third, and fourth frets, it's two frets higher, of course. Same goes for the chords when I say this is an A chord, in fact, it's a B chord, but for ease of learning, I call it what uh, it is without a capo. Okay, let's play the introduction slowly. We started with an A chord, sliding the 3rd string to the 6th fret. And you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get this uh, sound like a swing song. And that's why I'm really muting, especially the 2nd and 4th beat. And when it's not possibly, possible, only the last beat, and for example, as in this one. And this is the most difficult, well, uh, the second bar is the most difficult spot there in the first uh, beat when we play the C sharp uh, chord, which is a, a e, uh, sorry, a C7, and you move up your two fingers here to the first and the third string, third fret, and then you move up the chord, uh, sorry, to the fourth fret. And you do a thumb wrap to get that bass. And in the beginning, I play it like that, a pinch, and then to grab that 6th fret 2nd string, I release my 
thumb wrap because with a thumb wrap in my case it simply doesn't work. And if you're not able to do that, simply play something else using the chord. There's no shame in that. And then we go to an F sharp 7, also with a turn prep. And you notice I'll play with index finger the first two strings. It's easier for me, of course you can do the standard uh, uh, half bar chords uh, like that. It's a bit easier to move around if you can, if you manage to do it like this, okay. And then we're changing the chords, it's a partial uh, F sharp 7 chords. So it's 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 4th string and the turn prep. And I'm adding my pinky in that 2nd beat of the 4th measure. And in the last uh, beat we're sliding half bar to the 5th, 4th uh, fret and 2nd finger on the 1st string, 5th fret to get that B7 chord. Doesn't work here. Now this takes a while to get. It sounds simple. Simply the the slide down from the fourth to the second fret and open our course. You don't uh, pick it. It just should be a pull off in the tablature. And then you grab your uh, E chord. with the pinky to the 5th fret, open and slide into the A chord. Notice I'm using alternate picking thumb index, thumb, yeah. thumb index uh, pinch, index, thumb, index, thumb. If that's too fat, then use uh, um, uh, hammer-ons and, and learn it first that way. Then later you have it in your left hand already, and it, the right hand will follow more easily. So let's play the introduction one more time. Is also the, the, the muting uh, that I'm doing by moving up my uh, left hand uh, fingers, the fretting fingers. Here I move, uh, mute after that fourth fret, fourth uh, string. Okay, then we're starting with the verse where the singing begins, and I'll play uh, the first part slowly first. See, we'll, we'll do that again in uh, the later parts of the song, and there it's with a chord, but there it's free handed. And instead of the alternating bass, I'm keeping a steady bass here. And then we we'll repeat it. Here I am, out of line. Can we make it up again? Second ending is with a 
chord. Simple A chord. And all the other chords in the first part are uh, A, A chords of chord E7, so it's rather difficult, uh, rather simple. So one more time. Here I am. And then I do with a temp, of course. You can do use uh, one of the fingers, but temp works fine for me. Here I am. And here we moving between uh, G sharp seven, which is an E seven with two fingers only, third fret, sorry third string and fifth string, first and second fret, moved up. And then we're alternating with a C sharp, uh, where is it? C sharp minor, which is your A minor chord moved up with a bar on the uh, fourth fret. So, you know, baby, there's no maybe. I love only you. And I'm using a lot of double basses and then anticipation in the basses sometimes. And if that's too difficult, just play it well plainly uh, using the chords. You know, baby, there's no maybe. I love only you. And then we have your the only one. We're starting with, uh, for that uh, 16th, 17th, 18th bar, E chord. Then I move my second finger to the first uh, fret, sixth string, and the third finger grabs the third fret, sorry, the third string, first fret. Some kind of F chord. And then I move the whole thing up, and I flatten my third finger. For an F sharp and then a B7. And I use my two fingers grab, to play those uh, second and third strings. Now, when it comes to uh, fretting chords, always do whatever is comfortable for you. So, if you, for example, would play that like this, that F chord, uh, no problem. Uh, do whatever works for you. But uh, once you get stuck and make the same mistake at the same spot, then there's something wrong with your uh, fretting or your right hand. Could be too, doesn't, well, depending the mistake you make. But then it's uh, time to re examine what you're doing and, uh, well, try to find another solution. And there's a, a good example of a double bass here. move around with those because you notice that um, my arrangement compared to um, R.E. Isinger arrangements, my vocals are really supported by what I play and it's in this song especially by the bass movement and if you sing it slightly different there's uh, no harm in that. You can personalize it and then you can adapt the guitar part as well. As long as you use the same chords, but within those chords you have a sort of liberty to make your own arrangements. And uh, don't be afraid to do that and you will be proud of yourself if you do. And you will remember it better also. Okay, uh, you're the only one and no one else will do. That B, uh, B minor. A minor is moved up and fretted on the second fret. And you can play it like this, but uh, with the pinky added to the third string, uh, fourth fret. But 
you'll have to go for the fifth fret with your pinky. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you already place your finger or if you don't. Then it's a B minor seven, but uh, it's not much different in sound. And here we have, we're moving from a regular E7 to uh, E9, moving the third finger to the second fret first string. We're gonna do that movement a lot in this song. And then with a thump, I um, play the second uh, fret sixth string to go into the B part. So uh, let's play one more time. You know, baby, there's no maybe, I love only you. Oh, sorry. You're the only one that no one else will do. And you notice that, although, in, for example, that the 20th measure, that last note, there's, there's a four in the tablature, but I strum down, so all the whole song is really played forcefully, and 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 sometimes it's, it's, it's brushing, it's alternating. But that se uh, second and fourth beat, especially, are sometimes accented whenever possible. For example, here with a pinch, that's not really possible. But here, the fourth beat, I can really whack it, so the full chord is sounding. And then we go to the second page of our tablature for the B parts. And I'll play that with the first ending uh, slowly first. And straight without the double basing. Again. sharp 7, so C7 moved up, and I'm going down in the bass and grab with a thumb wrap on the 2nd fret 6 string my F sharp 7. And here the double bass. So that's plays the second beat, fourth string uh, and the sixth string. And it rings into the next beat. And again that, well let's call it reduced F sharp seven. Pick up note open for, uh, before we go to the B7. That's difficult to play slow. And our E to uh, E9 chord again. A chords, simply hang around a bit and slow and slide down. See that word? Alternating picking. And in one beat, fourth, third, second, and open on the fifth string. Double bass here. Okay, one more time at speed with the vocals. Now, um, no, sorry. Let me forgive when you turn.
at the 25th bar, there I use a lot of variations. For example, you can use what we used in the introduction. I think I certainly did that a few times, or do a roll. And also, that open uh, third string at the 25th bar, uh, sometimes I change it for an open fifth string going into the B7. And here we have really, really following the vocals. Yes, but I know dear that that dear goes a bit longer. No, you can play that straight as well, eh? Yes, I know dear that you don't understand. See? Like that. So that comes on the third beat then. And the second ending is also that A chord moved from the 7th fret down. Alternating picking here. Sometimes I do like that instead of the uh, fourth string, uh, uh, second fret, I play the third string and hard enough so that that fourth string also rings. Okay, then we have the C part. stepped out that uh, 34th bar again from the C from the top from the C part okay now slowly with vocals Open up your heart, let me in your heart, I'm pleading. No one else will do, cause it's only you, I'm needing. Okay, so we have that thumb prep in the 31st part, last note, and then going. And this may sound a bit strange, that A chord with that uh, G in the bass. And our F, F sharp uh, 7 chord after that. And again, you can play that straight. And fill it in, whatever. Uh, third or second string first, that doesn't matter. That here too. So, open up your heart, let me in your heart. I'm pleading. And here we have our B sharp minor, our B minor, sorry. And again, you can make that a seventh by releasing the pinky. You can hear hardly any difference. And then we moving into a uh, B7. No one else will do lower. No one else will do cause it's only you I'm needed. That I tried to make that as long as possible. And then we go into the B part again. The third line of lyrics there on the top of the page. My faith you hold. Have a 
different ending. So I'm, I'm stopping the bass there to accent that bend. And you could do that a little bit longer even than is uh, tapped out. And alternating picking there for those individual notes. That slide down and then picking the second uh, fret third uh, string. That's the, the difficult part to to learn, although it sounds very simple. Okay, then we have our third page of tap, <coughs> and there it's the A part again, but with some variations. And I'll play it and sing it slowly. I'm so blue in despair, cause you turn me down. So we have the same thing here. And here's the first variation. Instead of going, I'm simply sliding up to the fourth fret of the sixth string. And here I'm really uh, hitting it hard and muting it. jump except the fourth string fourth fret is with the index and the difficult part will be of course singing at the same time I don't know if you care if I don't come around that's the same as before. And then our G sharp and C sharp minor alternation. A little bit different here. Here also that A chord, that uh, 50th bar. Uh, I do some variations often uh, as long as you play for four bars that A chord. And here it's important that the first beat of the 51st where we go that you're able to do that. And then. So don't play anything the previous, uh, um, the previous beat with your index finger because then you have, then you're a bit in trouble with that rake upwards with the index finger. So if I don't come around, And I accent the first beat of every measure there, and maybe a bit longer than it's tapped out. It's simply a choice I made. Neither uh, R.E. Isinger or Bessie Smith sang it that way. Just my personal, uh, well, preference here. And if you practice the song a little bit more and more, you will see that your own, uh, let's say, mannerisms are popping up. And that's really making the song your own that way. Sorry. And I'm hitting that with my nails of the first two fingers here. And it's upwards and then with the tap. Same as before, 
And here we have a little variation. We simply stay on the fifth fret with our pinky. And sometimes in that third beat I added uh, fifth fret first string. That's that, that, and and also releasing the chord to get uh, to keep them short and uh, swingy, funky. And here we have. We've seen that in the introduction, but there we did it on only one string. Now I'm adding the third string to get a partial uh, E7 chord. At speed, it's a bit fast, of course. You might not hear clearly that, but it doesn't matter really. It's the slide down that really makes uh, the core of this measure, let's say. And there we have the B part also with some variations. It makes me cry. So, makes me cry when you laugh in my face. Yes, I know, dear, that you don't understand. Now I see you home first place. Yes, I know. Again, we have that walk into the B uh, part at the uh, 59 bar. C sharp 7. Again, that anticipation of the bass. And notice that um, the original lyrics every time uh, she or, or Ari say but I know dear and I change it in yes I know dear a <laughs> uh, little uh, change there okay makes me cry yes I know dear that you don't and here we have a nice variation and it's a B minor chord but I don't fret it as a bar chord, so it's in, in fact your A minor chord, but with uh, first, well, with the last three fingers and moved up, and the index finger goes to the fifth fret, second string. First, that's standard A chord, pinch. And here we have a nice blind break move. The last uh, beat of the 69th measure is played with a tap and then and then we're going down with the index for the fourth string, uh, right hand. So that uh, 69th and 7th measure. And now in the second beat, middle of the second beat, I'm changing to my uh, F sharp 7 chord but with the thumb prep and these fingers. So again from the 69th. Here we 
have a, a couple bends on the fifth string and I use two fingers to do that bend. It's a bit easier. I try to do that with almost my, all my bends if possible. Use more than one finger. Uh, you're making yourself it more easy that way. So, we have ring into the next beat. to the tab. Okay, let's do that uh, B part one more time. It, it makes me cry when you laugh in my face. Yes, I know try to place the lyrics at the right spots in the tablature, but the understand, the stand of understand goes a bit longer than I wrote it down. So take that into account. So we had that bar. And we go, set the tabs a bit right. So, then we have So again, the C uh, is a variation. A lot of double basses there, which you can adapt, of course, to your own preference. And here, this is the same as before, except in the last beat of the seventh, sorry, the eightieth bar. And normally you would slide, well, you could do that probably with the second finger because you already have that B7 chord there. But I use my third finger. I don't know why, but it works for me. Maybe because if I'm already there, it's an indefinite slide. So it goes, starts from the second fret and you cannot really tell where it stops. It stops well, more or less, where you're gonna grab that chord at the 9th, 7th, 7th, 9th fret. And maybe I use the third finger because it's already there in position. If you do that, you move more like that and that's a smoother transition the slide on the fifth fret and then going to fret the the fourth string sorry the fifth string and then the fourth string like that okay uh let's do that again then you'll forgive soon you'll forgive i'll get and it's the b minor seven just pinch it with my two fingers here and the temp. At first I hit uh, after this the strings or the fretboard and then the the top where you see the little X in the tap. So then you forgive, soon you forgive. I'll get you. I do a little different, but 
you can probably use one of the previous uh, F sharp 7 sections there, but it's stepped out like this. I'm not sure if that if I played that in the performance. same ending as in uh, as we did before and where I do and after that at E7 uh, well I invite you to listen to Ari Eisinger's recording on his first CD and he does an impossible and incredibly fast run something like that and while singing <laughs> so I skipped that so I simply did that in the 82nd bar. So I think we got it. Let's play that C section, that variation one more time with that uh, upgoing. Uh, for your love I'll strive, show as I'm alive, I'll bet you. Then you'll forgive, soon you'll forgive. Then you'll see all the things that I plan. Yes, I know, dear, that you don't understand. All right, I think this is really challenging to play. And it took me, well, a couple months, I must admit, to get it smoothly and not as smooth as I would wish it uh, to be, but uh, smooth enough, I guess. But it's a fun tune and it, uh, I really like those Bessie Smith periods of songs. They're blues songs, but they're departing from uh, the standard 12 bar blues. Uh, <laughs> there's no uh, shuffling there. And it's a welcome uh, variation on uh, some other kinds of blues I play. Okay, have fun with this song. I had. <laughs> 